Hello everyone, I am Bughexa here with another uh, another guide for new and returning players uh, trying to provide uh, information, knowledge, and resources to make uh, people's raids as successful as possible. Today, we are going to be talking about armor and bullets. So let's get into it. So. First off, we're going to be talking about bullets first. So bullets in Escape from Tarkov. Unfortunately, as of right now, uh, patch 12.9, um, we don't have a ton of information um, in-game about what bullets do. Um, we have some we have bullet velocity, recoil, if some, some of them do, some of them don't have additional recoil, and the caliber. And then we have a little bit of a, of a description, which uh, doesn't tell us a whole lot. So again, here's another uh, LPS GZH um, low velocity caliber. But still, there's no, there's not a lot of information to be uh, that you can gather from uh, in game. So the resource uh, for this one is off of the uh, Gamepedia, uh, Escape from Tarkov. Um, this will be in the description below um, to provide for you guys. So get into it uh, how here's a uh, first section how to read um, which we will go into once we get down to this section um, but just an overview uh, effectiveness level zero um, it'll take out takes a lot of bullets 20 plus um, for a bullet to penetrate uh, whatever armor class um, effectiveness one uh, 13 20 uh, 2 9 to 13 3 5 to 9 4 3 to 5 Five, one to three, and six around one. So, let's get into it. We're gonna we're not gonna cover every single uh, type of caliber. Um, we're gonna basically cover. I think we cover uh, nine mil, cover five four five, uh, seven six two by thirty nine, and uh, five five six NATO. So, those ones we'll we'll cover. If you want uh, any of the other ones, you can look at this yourself for any of the others, like shotguns or uh, any of the other type of calibers um, you are wanting the information on. So start with uh, 9 by uh, 9 by 19 This is your pistol slash SMG ammo. Um, this is usually, um, they all, in for Escape from Tarkov bullets, they have uh, penetration, which um, Penetrate different types of armor class, which as you can see, uh, armor class one through six. Um, so usually nine mils, they don't have a whole lot of uh, punch to them when it comes to armor pen until you get to like the the. There's a couple bullets in the game currently that have decent pen, uh, but of course we'll start with uh, the rip ammo. They have your hollow points, your um, rip ammo, quake maker is your hollow uh, hollow points they do don't have a whole lot of penetration but they do a lot of flesh damage which flesh damage um in uh escape from tarkov your body has a bunch of different uh areas you got your legs your arms your stomach your thorax and your head um if your thorax or your head gets zeroed you're dead unless it's by bleeding and then you can bleed out of your head, and your head will be zero. Um, but as long as you have your is your if your thorax is all right, is it still has health, then you will be fine. Unless you take the additional damage to your head, then you're dead. So, with that in mind, uh, the flush damage is mainly for non-armored areas, uh, arms, legs, um, wherever armor is not. And then, of course, your um, Armor pen for 9 mil, uh, AP 6.3 and 7 and 31. Um, your AP 6 basically pens anything level 1 through 3. Armor class, I uh, have a little bit of trouble with 4, then you're going to have a hell of a time trying to get through 5 and 6 armor classes. Um, you have a little bit of an easier time with that 7 and 31 going through 4 and uh, 5, but you'll have a little bit of a trouble 
uh, going through class 6 armor. So, those are your 9 mils. Uh, usually, in raids, uh, a lot of the time when you're spawning into the scab, you're going to have PSO, um, tra green tracers, or PSTGZH. Uh, those are usually the pretty common ones um, that you spawn in with as a scav. Um, and at, when you're in raid, um, a lot of the time when you'll find the AP6 or the 7N31, they'll be in uh, magazines or um, in ammo boxes or stashes just kind of by themselves, like on their own. Um, that's where you'll find those. Now let's go on to next up is the 545 the 545 is the ak-47 the 74u 74m all the ak variants um some are not 545 by 39 but the majority of them are um of course you have your hollow points your there is the sp all uh the hp hollow points prs uh us is you is mainly flesh damage you'll have uh, hell of a time getting through anything above armor class 2. Um, then all the way down to uh, 7 and 39, Igolnik, which Igolnik, best round you can get for 545, penetrates everything. You'll basically shred um, any sort of armor to penetrate through, deal some damage. Um, a good tip for if you're in raid um, and you're Kind of looking around for ammo. Uh, if it has a B uh, in its name, it's good enough for like if you're just in a pinch and you need need to find some sort of ammo. Anything with B, you're you're set and good to go to use it. BP, BT, um, BS. Those are all decent rounds. Um, yeah, usually your higher pen uh, stuff. As, as you see, the, the as the pen goes up, your damage goes down, so the more hits you have to do, but it's going to penetrate and do the damage. Um, so I'd probably recommend, if you can, um, early on, try and uh, stay away from anything that's 20 or below, because uh, carosses are pretty, uh, pretty common. Uh, press armor um, is pretty common. Armored rigs that are level 3. Uh, you'll have a little bit of an issue. Um, if you're running like anything up any like the hollow points or tracers FMJ US uh, you'll have a little bit of an issue going through um, level threes and above it's gonna be a hell of a time unless you get hit them in the, their uh, face um, then of course your armor pens PP BP BT BS and eagle neck those are your armor pens that will uh, get you through uh, armors. So let's go on to uh, next one is up if 556 NATO. 556 NATO is your ADAR, um, your M4, HK, um, TX15. Uh, TX those are your, those are your uh, guns, some of them, for the 556 round. There's an AK variant that is uh, 556 NATO. Um, of course, your flesh damage is going to be your war mage, hollow points, HP, um, the MK255 mod O, mod zero uh, bullets. They'll have a hell of a time getting through uh, some of that level two on up armor, but then it gets up to um, usually if you're in raid, um, you have a few spawn as a A lot of the time, you're going to have M855. Which, as a scav, this early on in the raid, M855 is fine. Um, you're going to be getting through most uh, most armor pretty easily. Of course, your armor pen, uh, M995, M855A1, and M856A1. Um, main difference: the 56A1 is a tracer, so you'll be able. To, they, you have to keep in mind that if you are using tracer. They can see the bullets, um, they can trace it back to where it's uh, coming from. So that's just a uh, thing to look out for. Um, next up is the 762. 762 currently, as of this patch, uh, 12.9, there is not a whole lot of 762x39 bullets. Um, 
the whole five. There is um, a lot of the time. Honestly, you're not even going to see Hollow Point or US Ammo unless you spawn in it as a scav. Um, they're pretty much non existent. Uh, the T45 is a pretty common one. Spawn in as a scav. Uh, PS and BP you know, uh, are also pretty common to spawn in as a scav. Um, and as PMC, a lot of times you have access to PS uh, pretty early. So a lot of those, the T45, M, the US, and the uh, HP, you're not even going to use because PS is pretty uh, readily available early on. Then as you level up, you'll gain access to BP, and BP is your armor pen for 762. Um, and that's going to be uh, like your S uh, SKS, but, uh, some AK variants. So with that in mind, we're going to go over to... Uh, armor. We can go look at some armor and tell you how uh, armor works in Tarkov. So, armor. Armor, it, you got a arm, body armor slot right here. You got a bunch of different types of armor. We just have a couple of examples here. Um, you got the 6B13 uh, level 4 armor. Uh, the thing to keep in mind is that each armor has different um, armor areas, so if you would take damage in that area, it, it would be protected uh, by your armor. So, for example, this armor is thorax and your stomach, the cross is thorax and stomach, and your this paca is thorax and stomach as well. And some armors is just your thorax, some it's thorax and your arms. Um, so each one's different, um, each provides uh, different benefits uh, stat-wise. Um, and also for repairing. Repairing, uh, as you can see, some of these have durability down here at the bottom right. And when you go to the repair scene, so normally uh, this armor is 47 uh, durability, but as it takes damage, that number, it, it goes down, of course. And then repairing, different armors repair at different values. So some armor repairs really well, it's pretty good value. Um, you can repair it with Propor or uh, Mix Gear or Mechanic. Uh, it's kind of your worst. Propor is like the worst repair, but it's cheapest. Uh, skid, skier is in the middle, and then Mechanic is your um, very good repair, but it's expensive. So um, the every armor repairs differently. Some again, some uh, repairs uh, very well, and some don't. As you uh, play the game, you will notice which armors repair well and you can uh, use armor accordingly so the next thing about armor is that there are armor tactical rigs the armor tactical rigs they uh, take up your tactical rig slot but you are unable to put body armor in your body armor slot because you're using a tactical rig which is armored which takes up your armor your body armor slot so, example of that would be on Ragman, level 1, uh, he has a body armor um, tactical rig, which uh, is level 4, has 10 durability, has 10 container size, it's uh, 4 2x2s two and 2 1x1s, one um, which can be barter from level 1 Ragman. Pretty decent armor, there's a lot of decent armored rigs out there, um, and that's usually if... Uh, Usually preference, uh, they all of the armor like basically works uh, with the same. They all have like durability and protect certain areas. Um, some armor like this like, again, it's like personal preference whether you like to use tactical rigs or body armor. There's no real like huge trade off. It's just whatever you like to use. And as you um, play the game more, you will grow accustomed to different types of armor that you like, um, and so on. So, then of course, well, the next part of uh, armor is helmets. Helmets uh, protect your head, uh, your top, nape, and ears, which is, of course, top of head would be, you know, top of head. Nape is the back of your head, like your neck area, and ears is like, you know, ears. Uh, so each uh, helmet has its own uh, armor armored areas and of course they have the same 
armor classes as regular body armor, one through one through six or zero through six. I'm losing zero. Um, ricochet chance and the armor points. Armor points for helmets is usually much lower than uh, body armor is. Then uh, there are also different attachments that you can put on the um, put on some helmets. Some helmets you can put like little you can put chops on the side so you can protect your uh, your face a little bit more. You can put use visors. Visors um, have armor class as well from level 2 visors to level 6 uh, visors um, which is the same uh, provides the same protection by like body armor and uses the same rules um, now the special the interesting thing about helmets is with how Tarkov works is that there is your head has many different spots to be hit so for example you got your face hitbox you know face uh, top of head your ears your jaw, you know, head eyes, the old head eyes, which uh, you'll probably see a lot. Uh, your nape, which is, you know, back of the head, about like in that general area. Um, so all those areas is which uh, you, what you have your helmets for, which you can see in the armored areas on your helmets. Um, and some face coverings as well also are armored. Um, there's a handful of them, a lot of them are armor class one if not maybe two and they they usually just like anti scav or like scav uh when uh, ai scavs kind of cheer at you with the shotgun or whatever gun they usually don't have the best ammo so it protects your face a little bit more so you don't get one tapped uh by ai um but with helmets, as the wipe goes on, um, helmets are become less reliable, mainly because as the game goes on, people gain access to higher penetration bullets, so helmets don't start to become less relevant. And at some points in the game, when it's six to eight months into a wipe, um, I personally, I just pick a helmet that whatever is aesthetically pleasing uh, for my kit that I I'm running at the time. Uh, that's what uh, that is the armor and bullets guide for new and returning players um, appreciate it everybody uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll be doing more guides in the coming weeks good luck have fun out there escape from Tarkov